Well, folks, if this year has taught us anything, is that when companies go woke, customers will make them go broke. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll play for you a clip that explains why all these corporations have suddenly gotten woke over the last couple of years. And the one company that's screaming, abuse me harder, daddy, is Target. And trust me, folks, they're in a world of shit right now. First, it was tuckable swimsuits for children. Then it was a satanic line of products. Oh, and it just gets worse from here. I don't know how you can with the tuckable swimsuit thing, but apparently they found a way. Meet a few of our partners. We're proud to partner with Glenn's for more than a decade, working to ensure all students have a safe place to learn. Target annually supports Glenn's and its mission to create affirming, accessible, and anti-racist spaces for the alphabet students? I, I, what is? What does it have to do with being gay? Seriously, explain that one to me. What does anti-racism have to do with being a member of the alphabet community? That, that doesn't make any sense, but okay, whatever. Everything is sexist, everything is racist, everything is homophobic. And you have to point it all out. It's as if there's some sort of intersectional agenda going on. Huh. It's probably nothing. And for those of you who don't know who Glenn's is, it's the Gay Lesbian Straight Education Network. Because that doesn't totally sound like indoctrination. And now it turns out that Target funds a nonprofit that wants to go and destroy Mount Rushmore because they believe it's a symbol of who white supremacy. So not only does Target support transing your kids, Satanism, they also want to support the destruction of American monuments and probably ultimately the destruction of this country. And if Target is backing the destruction of this country, quite frankly, they deserve to go out of business at this point. You should stop giving them your money. Don't give money to people who hate you. And that's what Target is. It's just another corporation who hates you. And I can guarantee you that this is a huge wake-up call to normies, because it's one thing to see it in your entertainment. But it's a totally different thing when you walk into your local department store and you see tuckable swimsuits for your children. Most normal people are going to see that, and they're going to freak the fuck out. These are things that you'd probably find at your local specialty alphabet shop, but it's at a bloody Target. It has no business being there. And as a result of these colossal screw-ups, Target stock has tanked losing more than $30 a share, and rightfully so. And as Red State has pointed out, they've lost $13 billion in market value. Probably more now. It's been a couple days since this article came out. Great job, Target. You fucked around and you found out. And it's only going to get worse from here, I bet. And to make matters worse for Target, they've been hit with yet another downgrade. Oh no, that that's awful. W what happened? What happened, Target? Target has hit another downgrade as its stock sits near a 30-year low after having lost more than $12.4 in market value, which stems from its Pride merchandise controversy. Controversy my ass. If 2020 taught us anything, if you fuck with Mama Bear's cubs, Mama Bear will come fuck you up. And now Target is getting hit with its third downgrade, this time from Citi. First there's JP Morgan Chase, then Key Bank Capital Markets, and now Citi. Target is not exactly doing all that great. And all these controversies aren't exactly helping matters either. And the reason for the downgrades is actually rather simple. Target has a rather large millennial shopping base. And that student loan forgiveness thing that was going on? Well, that's about to come to an end. Which means they're going to have less discretionary spending. And on top of that, Target sales have basically plateaued from 2020 to 2022. Gee, I wonder why. What could have possibly happened over the last three years? I wonder. Like most of us, I bet you're asking yourself, why are all these corporations suddenly going woke? Well, that's actually really easy to explain. There's this thing called ESG. It stands for Environmental Social Governance Score. It's basically a social credit score for companies. And this is something that these large investment firms like BlackRock have been pushing for years. And there is a video that came out in 2017 that was an interview with CEO of BlackRock, Larry Fink. And he basically kind of lays things out for you. Now, in this clip, they are specifically talking about recruiting. But I saw these changes that they talked about starting to be implemented in 2018. The DEI initiative, talking points about checking your bias, etc, etc. These were being pushed by investment companies. And the company I was working for at the time was a startup, which means that they were getting money from an investment firm. And you've spent a lot of time talking to companies now about diversity. 
I think at the end of the day, uh, one of the biggest issues for our society is diversity and inclusion. And the point is that I think we tend to overcomplicate the issue, uh, despite the depressing numbers that we see out there. The reality is there are incredibly qualified people uh, who can move into those positions, but you've got to put them into the pipeline. And what's critical is, in fact, to identify, recruit, develop, and push people forward. So the fact that we're in this situation, I think is a real problem and is embarrassing for corporate America because we should have far more representation of all different groups, genders that are at the top. And that's something that companies need to be very focused on. We're gonna open it up a bunch of questions, but you, you now make a point of, that's, that's an investment criteria for you. Well, behaviors are gonna to have to change, and this is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. 54% uh, of the incoming class are women. We, we added four more points in terms of diverse uh, employment this year. And it, if it, it, you know, what we are doing internally is if you don't achieve these levels of impact, it, your compensation could be impacted, okay? We're doing the same thing. And so it's just, it, you have to force behaviors. And if you don't force behaviors, whether it's gender or race or just any way you want to say the composition of your team, you're going to be impacted. And that's not just not recruiting. It is development, as Ken said. And ultimately, it's still going to take time. But I am just as much shocked as Ken is that we have not seen more opportunities. And we're going to have to force change. The very thing that these men talk about, I have seen with my previous employer. Compensation packages for hiring for diversity. Now, this did not impact me personally, but it was tied to our CEO's compensation. Now, remember, this video came out in 2017. A lot has changed since then. What happened in 2022? Oh, I wonder. We had the summer of love, and we suddenly saw corporations backing BLM. And as BLM was exposed for being a sham, what appears that they've moved on. What did they move on to? Hmm. I wonder. It seems like an awful lot of companies are supporting Pride this year. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the one. If you enjoyed this video, so I suggest you check out another one. It should be on the screen right now. Like the thing. You know you want to.